Good day, YouTube. So, 26 August 2020. It is a uh, Wednesday morning. We were working on the 1964 Cushman Scotsman golf cart. And uh, you can see I've got the seat plywood off and the seat back plywood off because today is upholstery day. So, um, I got everything kind of upstairs ready to roll. Let's get s some upholstery done. That would be really cool to get the upholstery done today because that's going to make what's left, uh, you know, bodywork paint, change the front tire. Um, that'd be pretty cool. I do not have the material to do the top. I haven't ordered it. Um, let's see what the seat looks like at the end of the day, and I'll make a decision um, as to the top. All right, let's go upstairs. Well, welcome to the uh, upholstery area. Um, it's kind of full. It's kind of busy with a bunch of rolls of miscellaneous upholstery stuff. Um, I have the foam cut for the seat back. It wasn't quite long enough, so we're going to have to splice a piece. Once we get these uh, spliced together and you know, kind of centered on the wood, you know, we can come back and trim to fit and all that jazz. So um, we'll get that part done. Um, I'll show you how I cut the foam. Um, I got it marked out on uh, this next piece. That's the seat bottom. The full sheet of foam that I have a few of, you still have a three more, um, is not long or wide enough, so we're going to have to put a piece on the end and on the back. So I've got those marked out. Um, I cut them with a carving knife, electric carving knife. Pick them up at the Goodwill yard sale, state sale. Um, it cuts foam wonderfully. Uh, just keep it nice and square. Um, you can come back and trim with this later if you need to, but let's get these two pieces cut. Start off with the... This is the extension for the rear. I uh, kind of start off like this. I keep my line nice and straight and square. crazy there at the end. So that's this piece here. And then uh, we got this piece. Garbage. this whole thing in dacryl which is this before we upholster so 
it'll help hide the blemishes because it didn't do a perfect job on cutting the foam. It's never perfect. All right, um, so next is um, get the foam uh, all glued together and get it wrapped in Dacryl and we'll staple on the back side. And then we can use what's there to cut out our pattern in the material. What I have is white marine vinyl. This is uh, I have quite a bit left over. I over purchased probably to get a good price um, for my last golf cart. So white will be nice. The last one I did white and red. I think I'll just do white with red stitching. Um, basically, because I'm using what I have. So just going to use some uh, spray adhesive to glue this foam uh, together and uh, just a little bit lightly to uh, glue the foam to the board. Um, I don't really feel that's a necessary step. It can't go anywhere once it's all upholstered, so I do it pretty lightly. So let me do that and I'll get back to you. All right, we got the foam glued together. Um, got a piece of Dacryl cut and we're going to... Uh, get it covered we're going to staple it on the back we're going to use a pneumatic upholstery stapler um, I have a couple I keep short staples in the smaller gun and longer staples in the other gun they'll both shoot either one that these shoot a wire staple like this if you're doing marine or final tops or something you can get stainless steel versions of this but these are just steel staples um, these work very good I'm sure you have options, you, you know, could use a regular staple gun or something, but um, these have a long pointed uh, nose so you can get into much tighter places with them. Um, they hold very tight, they shoot very well. I have an air hose coming up here from my you know big compressor downstairs, um, but I also have this little compressor here. If I'm just using the stapler for a short period of time, I don't bother to Turn on the big compressor because um, I may forget to turn it off. Um, but I got this little compressor, so if it fires up, uh, sorry. And I got three fans running up here because I'm not gonna be able to work up here all day because it's probably gonna be in the 80s, which means up here it's gonna be in the 90s. Um, there's no insulation in my roof, um, so it gets pretty hot up here. So I've got fans running, and I'll work up here as long as I can. But uh, let's get this Dacryl stapled on. Sorry, that Dacryl might be a brand name. I don't know what else it's called. Try to pull extra across the corner. Give it a little extra padding on the sharp edge. I should have rounded the corners when I cut the wood, but I didn't. I'm doing here, I'm bunching it up and coming over that corner. We can come back and trim the excess here in a minute.
And uh, there's the finished piece. It ain't finished. We've got to upholster it yet, I guess. But anyway, she's ready. Now I'll do the uh, back real quick, and then we'll get to cutting out some vinyl. All right, it's trying to, time to uh, trace out and cut some vinyl. So I'm going to trace this cushion with a pen. Now then, we can't cut that line because we got nothing to sew up against. So I'm going to leave about five eighths of an inch or so on all four sides, so we have something to sew the seam with. So that's merely a mark to come back here and. My eye, I guess. Make a better line. I'm going to cut this off. So I can work with it. I'm going to sew some pleats in this, so I'm going to make this end longer, so I have something that left there to take up. I'm going to kind of redraw this line, it's a little light. That one out there a little bit farther. And then sew some pleats, it's going to take up a little bit of length, is what I'm saying. I don't want to come up short. It won't take much, but it takes something. Don't throw your scraps of vinyl away. They're really good for setting up your sewing machine and whatever. Just keep some scraps. More practicing and whatever. I had some bigger shears up here. I must have stolen them. So. Right. 
You ever steal stuff from yourself and not bring it back? Okay, we're gonna save that vinyl. Now then. Wanna sew some pleats in it, but also want a plain Jane. Um I've got a roll. Here it is. A foam. I was digging through here yesterday on my stuff. I got so much stuff. So I've got this roll of foam. We're gonna cut a piece. Um, and we're gonna sew through it to uh, make the pleats. Okay. Again, this whole seat situation is being put together with stuff I have. My wife and I used to go to auctions and estate auctions every week when we were buying and selling antiques. And uh, a lot of this upholstery stuff came from auctions. They seemed to be the only one buying it. I'm by no means an expert at this. I learned how to do this watching YouTube videos. Just like you guys. Let's see. One more short. kind of feels like headliner material. Don't remember where I got it. It's getting warm up here already, I can tell you that. have to do this again for the back, the seat back. But, just showing you one of them. Alright, so that's cut. Now we need to mark out the pleats. Do it nice and wide like that. That's my vision. Wider pleat kind of makes the seat look a little bigger, I think. So uh, let me take some time and mark the pleats out. Then we'll uh, kind of adhere 
the foam to the back of the vinyl and then we'll stitch the pleats. Alright, we'll figure that out. Back later. Okay, I've been fiddling around with my sewing machine for a while. Trying to get it set up. Turns out the red thread that I have is just not very strong and I kept breaking it. So we're going to do black. Because that's what I have. So I've glued half of the foam onto the vinyl. We're going to glue the other half. It's best to do it half at a time because then it doesn't move around on you. It doesn't need to be crazy stuck. So the dab will do you. And what you do is you let that tack up for a little bit and then stick it. So let's give it a minute. All right, let's stick it down. We're going to roll this onto it. Try and keep the wrinkles out. All right, I've sewn a few. My machine's still not perfect, but neither am I. This is a upholstery amateur hour. So this is an artisan walking foot industrial sewing machine. Um, I lift the presser foot with my knee. I converted it to a DC servo motor. Um, with electronic speed control. So you used to have an AC motor with a clutch. So I can really control the speed uh, very well. Let's see if she'll sew again. Just locking that stitch. wants to rev to the moon so I mean it's just capable of sewing extremely fast. You gotta hold her back. thing to keep it manageable size. All in the setup, and that's really what I don't know much about.
at the end, really. Okay, I'm gonna uh, finish sewing these. All right, got all the pleats sewn up. We laid it on the seat bottom there. She'll stretch out nice and tight and get all the bubbles out. Call them out. So as you recall, we left about 5 eighths of inch on uh, all the sides so that we can have something there to sew. And now we have to make the sides, which is called the boxing. I think I'll just measure those out. Um, and uh, cut them. You can sew the corners and all that jazz. And then <laughs> sew across the top. Um, it's getting kind of warm up here, to tell you the honest truth. And it, the video is going to get a little bit long. So I think we'll do this uh, in a two-part segment. So I think we're going to end part one here today, and I'll upload it today. And then tomorrow we'll do the boxing and uh, should be able to finish the seat. I'll do a little bit more, uh, like get the seat back and stuff done today, but uh, and then we'll be able to put the whole seat on maybe by this time tomorrow. So... Uh, Guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate the comments. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. And guys, hit that thumbs up button. I'm just asking you to hit the thumbs up button. It doesn't cost nothing. But uh, my channel still struggles. I don't know why. Um, but without the thumbs up, YouTube won't recommend this to nobody. Nobody else will see it. So I have almost 5,000 subscribers, but I still only get 100, 200 people to watch a video. So it's kind of strange. But... Uh, I'm going to keep pushing, but I need your help. Hit the thumbs up button. We'll catch you on the next video.